Okay guys, this is just a brief overview of the PowerSpec G314. Uh, there's not a lot of information about this specific PC online and there's only just one other video on YouTube about this PC so I decided to do a quick overview. Uh, I got this from Micro Center during Black Friday for less than a thousand dollars. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys the uh, case, how it looks like. You see we have two USB 3.0s and a USB 2.0 at the top, memory card reader, DVD writer, expansion base, uh, microphone input, uh, two more USBs, just regular USBs, headphone jack. Let's see what else. And the side panel here. Uh, you can mount fans on it if you want to. The top. Uh, there's no fans, just vents. On the back. This is what we have. I'm not very tech savvy, guys. I just buy these things pre-built. I don't have time to build my own computer i'm sure it's it's fun and all i just don't have the time uh, this one comes with a gtx uh 1070 made by msi it is a blower type it is the aero model with eight gigabytes this one also comes with an asus um ac51 i think that's the name of the uh the model of the wi-fi we're going to open it up later. And of course, this is the other side. Pretty neat. Okay. Uh, I upgraded to this PC because I have an old um, computer from 2009. So it's about nine years old, and I decided to upgrade. This one is a uh, gateway computer came with um, <laughs> let's see what it came with that's a model number right there DX 48301E it came with the first generation core i3 processor the 530 6 gigabytes of RAM a really slow hard drive some janky memory card readers uh, I broke it within the first year uh, DVD multi-drive whatever that is uh, you know pretty decent it lasted for nine years um, you know after a while I started changing stuff in it first thing I did was upgrade the graphics card also I had something else in there before the GTX 580 I, don't, I just don't remember uh, also upgraded the power supply. I actually spent over $160 on this power supply. It's a Seasonic 660 watt uh, modular power supply, 80 plus gold, and it was putting out 54 amps on the 12 volt rails. So that was pretty good. I needed that to power this GTX 580, which actually doubles up as a personal heater during the winter because it's so hot but you know uh, it's time to move on from this PC I'm gonna give it away um, yeah, it's just too slow for me but it still runs Counter-Strike um, what is that CSGO uh, it'll still run it with no problems okay now on to the G314. I'll open the case up and see what's inside. You know, for a thousand dollars, it's actually not too bad for a pre built PC. So here it is. It's got a Cooler Master CPU cooler, um, an Intel i5 76. 100k some blue LED some I'm sorry case fans with blue LEDs 
uh, memory, two DIMMs, eight gigabytes each. Uh, the power supply actually is not modular. It's an EVGA 600B. It's 600 watts, 80 plus brown, bronze, and it's not modular. It's all those, it's not bad. It's just, it's not modular. You know, uh, I was reading online, I thought these things came with uh, a 500 watt PSU, but at least mine came with a, a 600 watt PSU, which is, which is weird, but whatever. There's the specs on it. 49 amps on the 12 volt reel, so that's good. Uh, let me turn this sideways. Like I said, this one comes with a GTX 1070 from MSI. It's the blower type, Aero. Uh, it's pretty quiet, so I have no complaints. This whole setup is pretty quiet. And this is the Asus Wi-Fi adapter. AC51, dual band wireless AC. I'm sorry, I'm just blabbing. I don't know what I'm talking about, but... I'm going to let you guys figure it out. Y'all are smarter than me. Uh, the MSI motherboard. Uh, I believe it's a Z270 model. Uh, I can find the model number for you guys. I'm sure you can find it on the website. You guys are pretty smart. Uh, this one comes with a DVD writer. Um, also a 480 gigabyte solid state drive which is pretty fast I think it's six gigabytes uh, rating I'm blabbering again I'm sorry I don't know what I'm talking about but you guys know what I'm talking about uh, but yeah I mean pretty cool looking on the next video I'm gonna hook it up and see how it is when it's powered up all right, so this is part two of the video. Uh, you can see the computer running. It's got an LED at the front with the case fans, LED in the back, uh, blower fan, and then there's the CPU cooler. You guys can notice there's there's not much sound, not much noise coming from this computer, which I really like. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty nice, actually. It's a really good deal for $1,000. You get all this fancy stuff. And I don't even, you know, have to spend time putting the PC together. Not that I know how, you know, not that I would know how to put a PC together, but I'm sure I can, I can do it. But yeah, for uh, less than $1,000. This is by far the best deal I can find online. Um, I also bought an Acer 27 inch uh, monitor with it. 1080p, 144Hz. Um, they had it on sale for $200. Now the only downside to this was um, it's not that proprietary NVIDIA G-Sync monitor it's the AMD type so uh, if you guys are purists I'm sure you would not like this monitor but for me uh, it works out fine I don't see any screen tearing uh, colors sucked by the way so I had to uh, calibrate it with my spider uh, express monitor uh, calibrator um, so you would need that if you if you care about colors on your computer so yeah not bad uh, this monitor is $200 uh, 27 inch you know you can flip it around and you know race this the screen up and down um, this is all new to me I mean my PC was nine years old so pretty fun stuff let me see if I can do, actually I don't have the keyboard hooked up, but yeah, 
so far so good on this PC here it is again doesn't make any noises very quiet also playing with the the Wi-Fi adapter here the Asus wireless adapter uh, it's best to have the the antennas like this in this position to get the best signal but yeah hopefully this helps you guys I noticed they're out of stock now in Micro Center but I'm sure they'll uh, they'll put out some more